Hello students how are you all i hope you all are fine at your home today we'll see standard 5th subject looking around environmental studies in that chapter number 8 mosquitoes disease and a treatment in the previous video we have seen main 5 now today we will see main 6 answer the following questions in that question number 1 in which season are mosquitoes more common why do you think this happens answer is there are more mosquitoes during the rainy season this is because rain water stagnates at many place ditches holes old tires pots broken water pots etc fill up with dirty water in which mosquito lays mosquitoes lay eggs thus mosquitoes are more common during monsoon or a rainy season now see the next page and next question see the question number 2 state the symptoms of malaria answer is the following are symptoms of malaria point 1 the patient has very high fever he feels cold and shivers a lot rigor this is known as fever with chills and rigors point 2 the fever recedes after some time and then it is high once more thus fever is high or there is no fever point 3 the patient's head and limbs ache a lot point 4 the patient feels very weak now see the question number 3 state the symptoms of anemia see the point 1 the patient hemoglobin decreases due to depleted iron level point 2 anemia affects the physical health of the patient he or she feels weak on doing even a little work point 3 the patient's body looks pale yellowish point 4 the patient's energy levels are low point 5 the patient physical and mental health are adversely affected now see the question number 4 question is in which place is the alga seen alga means lil which is green in color in a stagnant water we can able to see it answer is alga is seen on wet walls on walls of wells on water that has stagnated around tanks on water that has stagnated in ditches etc see the question number 5 question is what should be done to stop the spread of disease answer is the following step is necessary to take to stop the spread of diseases point 1 do not let dirty water collect in the pits around your house or in the surrounding areas point 2 take care to ensure that there is no nuisance of mosquito point 3 do not keep food uncovered cover it well point 4 do not eat stale uncovered or market or outside food now see the question number 6 why should one not drink dirty contaminated water answer is dirty means contaminated water contains disease causing germs rubbish and dirt drinking such water causes disease of the digestive system cholera typhoid and dysentery and skin disease so if one drinks such water he or she can fall ill thus one should not drink dirty means contaminated water now see the next page and next question see main 7 answer is asked in that question number 1 what can you do so that mosquitoes do not breed in your house and neighborhood write four points point 1 point 1 we will not let water collect anywhere near our house or in the neighborhood point 2 we will throw trash only in the garbage bin and the garbage bin covered point 3 
we will clean we will clean coolers pots and water tanks regularly we will keep their surroundings also clean point 4 we will spray kerosene and ddt on any stagnant water that we find see the question number 2 which disease are spread by flies and how answer is disease like diarrhea dysentery cholera typhoid are spread by flies flies sit on dirty things like sewage pipes trays thrown away food excreta or vomit of patient and carry the germs on their legs when they sit on food left uncovered they leave the germs on it when such contaminated food is eaten by a person he or she contracts the above mentioned disease see the question number 3 why should we not eat uncovered food answer is flies sit on food left uncovered flies sit on dirty things like sewage pipes trash thrown away food spit excreta or vomit of patient and carry the germs on their legs when flies come from such dirty places and sit on food left uncovered they leave the germs on it when such contaminated food is eaten by a person he or she falls ill so we should not eat uncovered food main eight give scientific reason number 1 food should be kept covered answer is when food is kept covered disease causing germs or dust particles do not settle on or mix with it flies cannot sit on covered food so food should always be kept covered now see the next page number 2 ditches filled with dirty water should not be there in the area surrounding our homes answer is if there are ditches filled with dirty water mosquitoes will lay eggs in such water if there are such ditches uh, such ditches in the areas surrounding our homes the nuisance of mosquitoes will increases and diseases like malaria will spread thus to avoid nuisance of mosquitoes there should not be ditches filled with dirty water in the areas surrounding our homes see the number 3 flies are known as enemies of mankind answer is flies sit on dirty things like sewage pipes trash thrown away food spit excreta or vomit of patient and carry the disease causing germs on their bodies and legs when flies come from such dirty place and sit on food left uncovered they leave the germs on it and contaminate it when such contaminated food is eaten by a person he or she falls ill so flies that spread many diseases are known as enemies of mankind now see the main nine classify the following diseases into those spread by mosquitoes and those spread by flies first of all we will see the disease name disease name are malaria typhoid dengue dysentery skin disease chikungunya cholera and vomit now see disease spread by mosquitoes So diseases are malaria, dengue, and chikungunya, and diseases spread by flies that are typhoid, dysentery, skin disease, cholera, and vomit. Now see the next page. Hot question. Choose the correct alternative from those given below each questions and write its index letter alphabet in the box provided against each question. See the number one. where are blood reports needed for diagnosis of disease done a in the gram panchayat b in a clinic c in a laboratory d in a school answer is option c in a laboratory number 2 from which part of the cinchona tree was medicine for malaria made a the fruit b the bark C the leaves D the seed answer is option B the bark number 3 what should be the hemoglobin level in the healthy woman 
ए टेन टू ट्वेंटी ग्राम और डाइल्यूट ओके ट्वेल्व टू एटीन ट्वेल्व टू सिक्सटीन फोर्टीन टू एटीन आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी ट्वेल्व टू सिक्सटीन ग्राम नंबर फोर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डिजीज इज नॉट स्प्रेड बाई फ्लाइज और मस्क्यूटो ए मलेरिया बी डेंग्यू सी डायसेंट्री एंड डी एनेमिया आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी एनेमिया इज नॉट स्प्रेड बाई फ्लाइज और मस्क्यूटो हियर योर चैप्टर इज अ कंप्लीटेड वी विल सी द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो स्टे सेफ स्टे हेल्थी ओके बाय